Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to get right into it. We are going to review probably one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products and that would be highlighters. Now you guys have seen that I have my, my faithful, faithful go-tos, but I actually do have a few few things that I may not show always or that I don't frequently use for whatever reason whether it's the weather isn't working or I haven't gone anywhere so we are going to get to it so I think we should start with what I don't use as much and then work our way to my go-to so first up this is and Anastasia Beverly Hills Peach Nectar Illuminator. Now, I've used this very rarely. Um, my friend gave this to me. My girl Chelsea was clearing out her makeup and she brought me some stuff. So I think I've only used this once or twice to put over something else. But I don't use it as frequently. Um, I'm not an Anastasia Beverly Hills gal. Um, nothing against it. I uh, I like a lot of the palettes that they have out. I actually am the owner of a subculture palette, which had a lot of backlash when it first came out. But rarely do I dig into that as well. So, yeah, just, you know, you, you like what you like. You use what you use. So, yeah. But... No, no shade to Anastasia. Y'all are cool. Next up is the Patrick Ta Highlight Highlighting Mist Major Glow. And it's in the color We Need Her Gold Pearl. Um I I jumped on the hype of this collection when it came out, and this was an impulse purchase. In Sephora with Chelsea and Jasmine. One of them days that we didn't need to be in Sephora. And we ended up in Sephora. So I brought this because this was one of the only thing I showed interest in. And it's a little mist. Um, and you can see what it did there. And that's why I don't use it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't... I didn't care for this too much and especially for the price point oh. I didn't I didn't really care for this um and it's only 1.6 ounces and I kid you not I think I've used this three or four times and that mist probably just did the whole bottle so it was a cute collection but I could have done I could have definitely done without it next up which one of these don't I use as much? Okay. Another spur of the... You know what? Chelsea is the cause of a lot of my spur of the moment purchases. And you can follow her YouTube here. Right here. But I notice I make a lot of bad decisions when I'm with her. And I guess that's a sign of a good friend. But I just make a lot of bad purchases when I'm with her. We go to Sephora, we go to Primark, and I spend all this money I don't need to spend every time I'm with her. So we went to Sephora again, and I ended up purchasing this little beauty. This is the Fenty Beauty Liquid Diamond Balm in Rolling Dice. Now, the ads that were placed on social media very deceitful because I didn't know that it was this tiny. Oh. This this little itty bitty thing, I, I just didn't understand. Used it. Actually, I haven't used this since I brought it, which which is horrible. And it's a little roller ball, and you shake, shake, shake to make sure it's mixed up. And that is the end result. I, again, 
I brought it for the hype and it's it's sitting on my dresser looking pretty so yeah uh and then it just dries really weird too we'll come back to this to see what it looks like after next up something that i use but i don't use would be the elf jelly highlighter this is really cute um it's a one of their mini jelly products this however when you use it like i just dipped my pinky in it and it's a lot so you don't need a lot of this um i just don't really use it as often i've gone out and worn it and it it, lo it looks nice it it does look very nice on the cheek and then once you do kind of blend it out to tone it down a little bit but that's blended folks so that's what i'm saying you don't need a lot when you do use it so that's part of the reason why i don't use it as much next up i jumped onto the hype when this dropped sadly i only can use it if the weather is nice and i have on shorts tank tops skirts short sleeves things of that nature and it would be the fenty body mm -hmm. lavas and i spent so much money on these body lavas because one i had brought two three i brought three of these and i actually gave one to kearney for christmas so the brown sugar one is the one i feel it's most chocolate girlfriend like if you're dark this looks amazing on you again i see everybody had the same general complaint it is very sticky i realize if you don't use a lot or you put it in your lotion it won't be as sticky fun tip put it in some lotion it won't be as sticky then the who needs clothes color this is the rose gold one i brought three of these as well i think and gifted two of them and again this the packaging the glass this is three ounces of product so i love the fact that i can take this traveling and tsa can't take it because it's three ounces just doesn't look at the bottle you know that's what they teach you in science you know the bottle's bigger and longer taller so yeah and then lastly so that one i i feel it looks better if you're kind of paler then the limited edition trophy wife i haven't gotten cognac candy yet because like i'm still in the midst of debating if i want to give sephora any more of my money but this is the trophy wife this was a limited edition one and i went all over brooklyn and parts of manhattan to find this and this is the i guess you can say the counterpart to the trophy wife high kilowatt highlighter but this gold is amazing and i feel this is a universal kind of one that i mean honestly i feel chocolate girls we can wear whatever and all three of these colors will look good on us but you know when you start getting a little lighter down the color line, you can't really get away with too many colors, but I feel like Trophy Wife was a universal color. So, and the formula was still the same. Like I don't feel the formula changed. This was sticky as well. I wore this when I was in Vegas and it was still sticky. Nothing crazy. Also from Fenty, I have the Trophy Wife Fairy Bomb. So this, the, body lava and the kilowatt highlighter this powder though this is so pretty guys like and again with this too a little goes a very long way so i've used this actually as a eyeshadow versus putting it on my face like this is really bright to put on your cheeks so And if you do it, you have to really lightly put it on. Um, I don't have any, 
I don't have a full face on today, guys, because I am sadly still dealing with double conjunctivitis. It, my eyes look like it's bad. Like, you see, this one is still swollen. But it was bad about four days ago. But shout out to these eye drops for holding it down. <laughs> All right, so next up, what are we going to go for? Let's go for these because I don't use these as often as I used to. We have the Maybelline Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter. So this is a liquid highlighter. I showed it in my last video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it below. Comes in this little tube. And they have, I believe, three or four colors. So I have the colors Deep Gold, number 300, and Medium Nude Glow, 200. And then I think 100 is an iridescent white almost um y'all know i love maybelline so i don't really have a bad thing to say about these they're affordable um they get the job done you live for a highlight and you don't want to spend a ton of money like on a fancy highlighter or the next batch that i'm going to show you guys you can get these or you can get these from Maybelline. So these are the Master Chrome and the Master Holographic Powder Highlighters. So this one is Molten Gold. So this is a gold highlighter. What you're going to notice with my highlighters as well, for me personally, being that I am of a darker complexion, I use a lot of warm undertoned highlighters, a lot of gold base, a lot of brown base. I am not afraid of dipping into a white highlighter like this this is number 50 again i feel with my complexion i can get away with any color highlight which i will show you guys momentarily but i i tend to go for warmer highlighters so you would always want to go with what looks better on you jewelry wise like if you know you have a lot of lighter undertones you would go for a lighter pinky white based highlighters if you're dark like me or darker you will go for a warm gold base unless you're a darker girl with a cooler undertone i don't know a lot of girls that are cool undertones that are of color they're out there um naima tang she is a very very beautiful dark girl and she is cool undertones so yeah and then the last one this is the molten rose gold and this is a pretty rosy pinky color highlighter focus ah. and these are money guys like i love how affordable these are and they get the job done as well so again, if you're not looking for an expensive highlighter, Maybelline will never, ever steer you wrong. Now to my, my favorites. And I have, so you guys know I live for Jeffree Star's highlighters. So he has four formulas. I only have three. Um, I couldn't see myself just as of yet spending $50 on a powdered highlighter like the Fenty was one thing because I know that's gonna stretch I can put it in a number of things but that $50 highlighter Jeffrey had oh it's pretty though so he has a skin frost highlighter a supreme frost and a liquid frost out of the three, I would say the liquid frost is my favorite because, again, I'm a fan of anything that I can stretch and put everywhere. But, you know, hit or miss. Like, I, I saw some of you saying that it was too watery. I don't personally like the dropper that comes with it, but we'll get into that. So, first, we're going to go into the skin frost. Now, besides the... Fenty and the Patrick Ta, these are probably my most expensive highlighters. So the Skin Frost, and I'm going to show you two versions of the Skin Frost. So 
Let me just clear stuff out of the way. So the normal skin frost comes in these compacts. What I love about these compacts, besides the fact that they're freakishly large, is that they have a mirror. Oh my God. So this is the color King Tut. It's a dark gold. And then this is the color Mint Condition. It's a green one. I was so upset when I got the Mint Condition in a mystery box. I could have cried. I would have preferred the Regina George one, which is a very bright pink highlighter, but I was so disappointed with this mint green. I didn't know what to do. Great part about his highlighters, you can use them as an eyeshadow. So if the color isn't your cup of tea, you can put it on your face. So this is the mint condition. And again, I, I didn't care for the color too much. So I was very happy when I did another mystery box and it came with the King Tut one. And I saw a lot of people complain about the King Tut because a lot of lighter girls are saying that they can't wear this shade because it's way too dark for them, which I get. So, and then I think this was also the skin frost that had all the controversy that people were receiving them and they were broken because at the factory, the forklift dropped this, the palette that had all of these in it. So people received broken highlighters. Friends, fun fact, if a company is not gonna refund you your money for a broken highlighter or a broken eyeshadow, a little bit of rubbing alcohol or witch hazel, pat, 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 press it down, it'll be good as new. The logo won't be there, but it'll be good as new. So yes, yeah, so the highlight, the skin frost comes in these compacts and then they come in pro palettes. So I got both of, well, I got all three of my pro palettes in mystery boxes. So this cool one came, this is a limited edition. So you didn't get the mystery box. You didn't get this. This came in the Christmas mystery box and it smells like peppermint. If anybody, if you know me, you know, I love peppermint. So, and then the spotches that are in these don't affect the color. So like this pink still comes out white despite the fact that it has the pink swatches in it. And I feel like this was really friendly for everybody. So you have a dark one, a medium tone, and a lighter tone. I use all three. Hasn't hasn't steered me wrong yet. Then the these two, this was part of the Jawbreaker collection. I'm not sure which collection this was part of. I feel this was out before I discovered who Jeffree Star Cosmetics was. So I got these in mystery boxes. I believe these both came in the Valentine's Day one. I think that's what they came in. So the 24 karat. This is again more geared to your chocolate girls. The there the counterpart to this, I believe, is the Platinum Pro Palette. So you can see in this, these are it's a lot of dark tones. Sarcophagus is probably the lightest thing in here. My favorite color in here, I want to say, is between Liberus and Legendary. So again, that pretty, pretty gold. Ah, did I get it? So I'm just, I'm trying to figure out this lighting for you guys. Okay, so. That gold is beautiful. And then that pink one. Gorgeous. Gorge, gorge, gorge. And then brain freeze. Which I couldn't, I'm so glad it came in a mystery box because I wanted it and I didn't want to purchase it separately. So this one has a lot of light colors in it. I haven't used it as much. Um, I do use Statuesque because it is a, it's a brighter gold. And again, your chocolate girl is always here for it. So that was all skin frost. Next is the Supreme Frost. So this is a little bit costlier and a little 
the formula is a little bit better. So, and I don't, I don't, I feel with this one, it's, I, I don't really use a brush when I do dig into this. I just, swipe my finger across it and then I pat, 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 pat. And you guys see just how bright that is. That's why I love this, this Supreme Frost. So this one is a little bit more than the actual skin frost. And then last but not least, we have the liquid frost. So now the pink tops came in a summer collection. The blue, no, I'm lying. The pink tops dropped, I think, when blood sugar came out. So this was February, if not February last year, February the year before, but I believe it was February last year. And then the blue came out when Blue Blood made its arrival. So again, what I personally don't like, this is the color Blue Balls, which is an amazing blue and it came in a mystery box and I couldn't find this in the Morphe stores. I was so upset because I wanted this color. This and Frostitude. So it has this little pump on it, right? So when it's closed, you don't see the pump. When you open it, it pops up and hit or miss it may not even deposit a lot that was a good one but if it's some on the actual applicator you can use it so I'm just I just want to show you guys that color so this was a, a true blue highlighter as you can see with some pink purple undertones and then I think my favorite color out of the five that I own is it this one yes it's heat wave and heat wave is a really darkish brown I don't have any of the gold ones which depress me but don't worry collection will soon be complete and it's this nice brown similar to the the brown sugar fenty so let's rub that here and then this is another good one that you can put in your lotion once you put in your lotion it'll give as well but You see how I like I like this. This those are my go-to. Those are my go-tos. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that deserves an honorable mention in my collection? I don't quite think so. But I would say if you're looking for affordable highlighters, Maybelline and Elf. Maybelline and Elf will never, ever, 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 ever steer you wrong. Um they're at, well, e.l.f. is only at Ulta now and online, but Maybelline you can find in any Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, and it's cheap. And usually you, you guys know, especially if you live in New York where there's a Walgreens on every corner now, there's always some type of sale, buy one, get one 50% off, buy two, get one free type of thing. So that is how you stock up on your drugstore cosmetics is when they have a sale. I don't usually buy any drugstore cosmetics that if they're not on sale like I I will not she she me her won't do it so and then as far as the higher end I believe who needs clothes from Fenty Beauty is the only body lava that they sell in store right now and cognac candy may be in store because it's so new still but trophy wife was a limited edition and brown sugar i feel that you can only buy it online so yeah and then jeffree star you can buy on morphe you can buy on beauty list you can buy on his website if you're willing to pay those prices for fenty if you're willing to pay the prices for jsc go for it live your truth live your best life if necessary so that's my video for highlighters it ran a little bit longer 
but this is the next installment of my favorite products next up will be my favorite skincare make i don't go through a lot of mascara so i, I was going to do a mascara one but i don't think you guys want to see me talk about two maybelline mascaras and a benefits cosmetic um, mascara so i think i'm just going to skip the mascara review and just go straight to the skincare stuff so i will see you guys in my next video and if you haven't already like comment subscribe share the video let's get these numbers and this channel up and going so i will catch you guys in my next one